Alright, welcome back everybody. So today I'm just going to go over quick tips for Traveler's Rest. Just to make the gameplay a little bit easier. No nonsense. So let's just jump right into it. First thing you're going to want to do, make life a little bit easier, is get a chest and put it inside your kitchen to collect all your mats. If you look right here, you're going to see the little dotted lines when you're in build mode. As long as you have that chest inside those dotted lines in the kitchen, everywhere you go, all of your mats will be available to use. You don't have to keep them in your bag. You don't have to keep going back to a different chest to get them. You'll be good to go. This trick also works for your building mats and all of that for your carpentry, your masonry, your smelting and all that. Put your chest out in the yard with these with these building items and you'll see right here you'll see each one has its own little marching ants dotted line that goes around it you'll need a you'll need a chest for each one but you don't have to keep running around if you drop all your stone into one chest you drop all your wood into another you drop all your metals into another it's right there waiting for you good to go easy make life so much easier not having to run around looking for those mats in other chests all right second tip soon as you can start farming there are a lot of different seeds that you can buy a lot of different trees a lot of different plants a lot of different fruits vegetables the moment you can start it you need to get your farming up get your farming going to produce as many different vegetables fruits grains whatever to produce more money in the end the more ingredients you have for your food the more you can the more you charge for the food the more money you make the faster you make it just makes it that much easier to get money early in the game and get your customers happiness up the more ingredients the more different styles of food the more expensive the food the more money you make bing bang boom and now just a quick little tip this is something that took me a while to figure out so maybe telling you early will help you figure it out you don't have to worry about frustrating you make sure you buy your cat the water dish and the cat bed buy the cat bed through the mailbox without that no matter how much you pet your cat it is not going to like you make sure you get the cat bed along with the water bowl so it has somewhere to sleep and for some reason that's the only way it's going to like you all right next tip so in the beginning of the game you're going to have this urge to always be open always try to make as much money as you can you need to try to fight that urge in the early going so you can go out get mats, get what you need. You don't have to be open like a lot of other games of this genre set you up. You have the ability to open and close your tavern as you see fit. You don't have to be open in this game. Take a day or two a week, maybe even three. Use that to explore the area. Use that to collect your mats. Use that to up your building skills. Expand the stuff that you can build to make your end better. Don't feel the need that you have to be open. Go out, get your mats, find the nodes that are almost always in the same spot. They will replenish every day, every other day, depending on the cycle. Make sure you're not completely focused on just being open. Go out and explore. As part of the RPG aspect of the game, make sure you're doing that. You don't wanna run into a situation where you don't have the mats to get what you need at that specific moment. Collect them, store them, spend a whole day, spend two, run around, get everything you need. There's no energy like Stardew Valley. You can spend all day collecting mats and it won't affect any part of the game except expanding your storage and expanding your mats. Then focus on keeping everything open, running the inn, running your tavern as fast and as much as you can to make that money, to get those levels up, to get that happiness. The more stuff you have in your tavern that you made, that you built, that you add to it, brings their happiness up of each guest, which raises the levels. All right, this tip is just a simple one. Every day when you get up, make the bed. There is nothing more satisfying than completing a goal you set for yourself, starting your day off with a positive attitude. Make the bed. All right, next tip. In the beginning, everything is going to try to overwhelm you. And all you're going to be thinking to yourself is, man, I wish I had help in the end. Man, I wish I had some help. And then all of a sudden, you reach the level where you get help. Do not hire anybody yet. Make sure that your inn is making enough money to cover their pay and still make money on the other side. Make sure you do the math. Make sure that you're actually making money with the inn before you hire 
your maid before you hire, the bartender before you hire, the dude cleaning the tables and the floors. Make sure that you actually can afford it before you do it. Otherwise, you're just wasting your money. All right, and my final tip here is going to be paying attention to your inn when you stay open late at night. You want to make sure you have candles, candle holders, candles lit when nighttime comes. You're going to lose happiness if there's no light in the inn when the night hits. Night's going to hit at 7 o'clock. And if you have candles set up, they'll automatically start lighting up the area and make everything look good. You're also going to want to pay attention to this right here come 8 o'clock at night. 8 o'clock at night, going to get cold. You want to make sure that you have firewood in your fireplace. Get it lit. Otherwise, you're going to lose happiness on your guests. They're going to leave. They're going to be mad. It's just going to bring your scores down. You're not going to level up as fast. Make sure you're getting that fireplace going and you're keeping your inn lit if you stay open at night. And that's it. Those are my tips. Beginner tips for Traveler's Rest. Simple, not hard. Game's fun. Have fun doing it. Make sure that you're keeping your end going. You're not losing money. And you don't have to call John Tapper to come help you get your shit back in. All right. We'll see you guys in the next one.